I'm here with Danny O'Halloran, who's an intern on the Marty Walsh campaign. Danny, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me here. Um, can you tell me a little bit what, about what you do on the campaign? Yes, yeah, so I work for Marty's finance uh, team. So I work directly with the person that's essentially the finance secretary and the finance assistant, and then one other intern. Um, it's very much behind the scenes work, so not the kind of people that are out there like uh, going over Marty's opinions, stuff like that. We work on the, the side that's raising his money, making sure the campaign's still running in the background, organizing so how, fundraisers too. How important is your job then dealing with the financial aids and stuff like that? Um, I mean, being an intern, yeah, it's, how important it is, is, to me, I think I'm very important. Um, I do a lot of, I've been given a lot of responsibilities, so I talk directly with people that are running as fundraisers. Um, so sometimes it's just me and I'm running a fundraiser with the host that brings in $20,000 in one night. So in that sense, it's very important. And then on some days it's in the office, making copies, just making th sure things are running smoothly, processing checks, things like that. Do you have any interaction with Marty Walsh then? Yeah, I actually, I've been fortunate enough to spend most of my days in the office with him one-on-one -on -one for two, three, four hours sometimes, um, two days a week. Do you like that part of it? That's, that's absolutely the most beneficial part to me, I think, is that most internships, you're aware of everything that's going on, but with Marty, I've actually learned from him. I get to see how the candidate himself works and then I've built up a personal relationship with him where he and I can just chat and joke around with each other and so for me that means a lot that he's okay with interns getting to spend one-on-one -on -one time with him. Um, so I know you worked on a few other campaigns they might not be for Boston Mayor but how different is it having 12 candidates as opposed to just like two or three? It is very different. Um, the last campaign I worked on was just a one-on-one -on -one Democrat versus Republican with a race like this when there are 12 different people mostly all of them are Democrats, the, the competition is very different. It's not a it's not a head to head type battle. It's who can articulate one opinion better than the other because everyone's running on the same type of platform. So when one person wants education reform, the other person also wants education reform. It's who can make that sound better, um, who can convince people that their way of doing something is better than the other 11 people's ways. And it's also harder because you need to get yourself out there more to, to be the one who, out of the 12 people, is going to stand out and also to, to convince people that out of all these very similar opinions, you are the, the correct one. What kind of advantage do you think that he has? Do you think that he's going to fare well in the election? I think he's going to do very well. He has tons of support in South Boston and Dorchester, and that's a huge population. That's one of the biggest areas of Boston. Um, so he's got the very grassroots, down-to-earth kind of people support. Um, He's gotten support from the fire department, from the Boston Police Department. Um, he has thousands of people that have already said they're voting for him, people that donate, volunteers. Um, he's also, I believe we've raised throughout the campaign more money than anyone else. And so that's, you, know, I, you hate for that to be a big important thing, but that is an important thing that we have more money than the other candidates. And so I think that he's gonna fare very well. All right, well, I think especially with such a large person campaign, it'll be interesting to see how it fares out. Um, thanks for joining me. No problem. Thank you for having me.